or the ribbon, it might be called, <laughs> of uh, the report. Let's go into the filters. Filters is a really important area depending on the reports that we go into. Oftentimes, you're not going to filter, say, a balance sheet report, but you will often use a filter for like a transaction detail report. So let's do one of those. Let's go into like the checking account and you can see this time they're giving us the new report settings. So this has the fancy new settings in it. So if you filtered this way, it, it's right here. This is where the filtering option is in this one. And then oftentimes if I hit the drop down, we, oh, wait a sec. We'll keep that one there because this is already filtering. We'll add another filter. And then if I hit the drop down, we often want to filter by transaction type as we saw before equals and then maybe I want to just take a look at like the deposits, right? And then I can I can filter and just see those. We can add another filter. If I add another filter, that will then uh, reduce it down. It's not going to show like I can't add another one and give me deposits and expenses. Instead, if you want deposits and expenses or deposits and something else, you can check two of these off as well. Let's say deposits and uh, what a cash expense or something. Then I have two of them checked off. So now I should be able to see both of those items lined up over here. Now, if you go to the classic view, I'm gonna switch to the classics view. Now you have the setup that we saw before. And so here's our information in the classic view. And then up top, we can customize the report. And now you've got your filtering options here and this drop down type of setting. So this one's already checked off as the checking account. Once again, we could filter by the transaction type, for example, and then possibly choose one or multiple of these items. Here's a check. And then we could choose a, uh, a deposit. So we have two of them checked off and we could say run it. And so now we've got the, the transaction types. So it's still up in the air as to whether uh, QuickBooks is going to run with. You would think uh, soon they're going to run with uh, the modern view, which I think they probably will because it does look kind of nice. I think it works pretty well. Uh, but they still have the classic view on some of the reports, including the balance sheet report. So we'll see how that <laughs> we'll see how that plays out, you know. And if once they finalize it, we'll we'll update the course again at some point, and uh, and we'll we'll see what they did. So they're A/B testing that particular feature right now. It appears. So that's going to be the filtering, uh, and then we have the headers and footers. So if in the headers and footers, we've got the company name, we've got the report title, and those are the items up top. So we saw that you could remove, like we could just remove them here and say, okay, now we don't have. A company name and report title if i oh hold on a sec run it if i customize it put those back in we could change the name but we could always we could already do that over here so if i went in here and i changed the name i can do that in here i'm not sure you can delete it in here maybe you can delete the whole yeah you can you can even delete the whole thing in here so you really don't need to go up to that customized area to get to get to that because you can already do it like on the face here so uh, just note that that's probably the faster way to, to do it. Uh, I'd like to return the title now. <laughs> I'll just say company name, company name and, uh, and report balance sheet. Okay. And then the period, the report period. So let's run that again. And then let, let me just show you the page layout. And so here's the layout of the report. And if I scroll down, you can see that at the at the footer, it's got accrual basis and then the date and the time. You might not want all that stuff on the footer. You can't see it unless you go to the print, but when you print it, it'll show when you printed it. Well, actually you can't see it here. It's on the footer there. So what if I wanna remove that? I want it out. I want that out of here. Get that out of here. So report uh, period. Uh, we'll say take that off. Now hold on. The report period took off this uh, date on the on the top. Let me show you that again. The report period is, and I was going to go to these three that take off the footer. The report period takes off this one. I don't even think you were able to do that before because I I I, I believe at some point 
uh, we couldn't actually take. So that's kind of nice. That's actually works well because when you run like a report, like if I, if I run this report, let's put it back on and just show you when you might want to use that. If I ran, if I ran this report and I said it, I want it quarter by quarter, then this, it says as of December 31st, but it's not really as of December 31st anymore because you have, it's as of each of these four quarters, right? So, so in that case, you might want to remove this and then rely on these or, uh, and rely on these as basically your dates in a, essence. It would be nice if you can edit that still, <laughs> but at least you can remove it. That's nice. And then the footers, we can remove the footers down here, date, time, report, basis. And I can say boom, and then down here, footer gone. If I was to print this thing, then no footer. They can't tell when you printed it. I've got the date up top. You don't need to know when I printed it. You don't need to know the basis because we are, it's an accrual, you know. So we'll take that off. And then we can go into the alignment. This is just the alignment of the header. So it's we can go left align and the footer. We can left align it. And then let's say that we want Let's put the footer back in there so we can uh, check it out. So now it's on the left, footers on the left. And then if I go boom and say we want it to be center, that's what it was before. If I want to put it on the right, put it on the right. Now it's on the right. We're doing a, a do -si do turn to the left, turn to the right, and then back to the center, back to the center. And there we have it. So note, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, nice options overall. If you're used to the desktop version, uh, some things that you might notice is the desktop version has some more options for the font formatting of the font, and it has some options for like increasing the size of the text and that kind of stuff, which they haven't done with the online version. I'm not sure exactly why. Maybe I think maybe it's because if you really wanted to dig, dig into that stuff, you could you can connect this with uh, with Excel and you can export it to Excel pretty easily and then go crazy with formatting on fonts and what stuff if you wanted to, although it takes more time to do that because those kind of changes you would have to do uh, every time. Uh, the size of the font, we can't change uh, as easily in here, which, which I, maybe I already said that, but you could on the desktop, but you can zoom in for the view. So that's nice. And again, if uh, later on, we'll talk about exporting to Excel, which also gives you a wider expanse of options has its pros and cons. So we'll look at that maybe not next time, but we'll look at that at some point.